an extra mile. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Do you hear that? There, there's really not. There's not a lot of traffic on the extra mile because there's not a lot of people trying to go the extra mile. That's right. There's not a lot of people trying to do more. That's why I, I, I love our musicians and our staff because they're always pushing us. Ken Dale, he want to do everything. He want to play the bass. He wants to play the drum. He want to play the organ. And he's pushing himself. But do you not know that's how those are the people that get ahead? That's right. That's it. Not the people that's just doing just enough. It's the people that are willing to do more than enough. Yeah. And many times, what well, we've got to learn how to do in our ability to respond and in our work is we've got to learn how to exceed expectations. Somebody say exceed expectations. Exceed expectations. You say, well, I don't know about all this. This just sounds like business. I don't know about this. I don't hear this in the Word. Yes, it is in the Word. Matter of fact, Jesus said in one parable, he says, if somebody asks you for your shirt, give them your shirt and your coat. That's the extra mile. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you for a shirt, if you find somebody that's cold that needs a shirt, you don't just give them your shirt. You give them a shirt and a coat. Mm -hmm. Somebody said extra mile. Extra mile. Why? There's not a lot of traffic on the extra mile. A lot of people, the Good Samaritan is one in Scripture why everybody knows because the Good Samaritan went the extra mile. Amen. He didn't just help the person who was wounded on the side of the road. He didn't just say, let me give you some help. Let me take care of you. Let me bandage you up. Let me give you this and let me give you that. All right, you, you good now? You good now. Okay, I'll see you later. No, he got him straight, took him up, took him to the hotel. Mm. That's right. Got him to the hotel. He knew the hotel owner, told the hotel owner, take care of this man and whatever bill he runs up, I'll take care of it when I come back. Mm. Somebody said, that's the extra mile. That's the extra mile. Many times in life, while we, are not, while we are not doing the stuff now, that's my whole message, the power of now, while we're not doing what God has called us to do now, it's because we fear going the extra mile. We fear the responsibility. And it's going to be so much responsibility. Yes, it is. Yes. There's going to be so many things that's going to cost us. It's going to cost us our time. It's going to cost us our ability. But the pay out is so much greater. Yeah. Okay. Why? Won't you just go Just go take the job? You, you get to make the extra money. You, you need the paycheck. Go take the extra job. Well, no, I won't take it because what I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build not just a job for myself. And I told one person I work for, after working for them for some years, I said, you know what? I said, my problem is, you own this business. And if your children, if something happened to you, your children get to decide if they want it or not. But I work for you. So I can't give, when, if something happened to me, I can't give my children my job. <laughs> Tell somebody, you can't pass down a job. But you can pass down a business. Your children can inherit your business, but they can't inherit your job. Tell somebody, a job is not an inheritance. You say, so you're telling me I need to uh, get, uh, start my own business? I'm not telling you to do that. you got to do what you're called to do, but you at least need to leave an inheritance. So if you won't work, at least leave something so if you're, something happened to you, your children. Yes. Somebody say your children. Your children. We'll have a choice. Have a choice. Amen. Amen. I don't care if that's just some life insurance. At least my children will have something. Some kind of inheritance. But I don't just want to leave my children an inheritance. I want to leave my children a life. Somebody say a life. Life. And you said to me the other day, well, Pops, when you start your business, since I helped give you the name, I need a lifetime uh, discount at your store for life. I said, you're going to be able to get more than that because you're going to be working in this store. You're going to get more of a discount. You're going to be running this. I said, D, going to be running this. Why? My thing is to build so much that my children have a choice. My, my children, my children's children, wherever they come from, or however God brought them to me, they will have a choice. 
Somebody say a choice. Choice. My job is to build so much until D has a choice whether he wants to continue to work for Walmart or whether he wants to work for Pops where he make twice what he make at Walmart. Mm. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that's the goal. Somebody said that's the goal. That's but some people, they're not even planning that way. Do you not know God will bring things to you when you got dreams that include more than just you? Most of the time, well, our dreams not getting off the ground because they only include us. Wow. <laughs> our dreams only include us. It's just about what I can have, what I can do, what I'm going to have. It's not about, my dream is not about me. It's as much as about what you will inherit, what you will get. That's why I work so hard in ministry. That's why I teach. That's why I study. That's why I keep pushing myself. That's why I go to school. That's why I want to learn everything I can learn. That's why I'm always uh, studying. And my wife just gets on me sometimes because I'm always studying. I'm always cramming. I'm always researching. I'm always listening. I'm always reading. Why? Because I got all of these people that's going to show up that need not just uh, excitement. Amen. But they need transformation. Yes. And my goal is if you show up one time, you will get so much in that one moment that it will change your life. Amen. So I don't care if you don't show up no other Sunday. I'm going to give you so much that if you just operate on one thing I've given you today, it will change your life. Amen. Most of you will leave here thinking in your mind, there's not a lot of traffic on the extra mile. Right. Yes. And am I going the extra mile? Yes. Or am I just doing the bare minimum? Mm -hmm. Am I just trying to get back on what I can get back with? Am I pushing myself to my fullest potential? Am I reaching my goal? Do I have plans in place? And what am I doing now? Because now is the place where what? No, no one, one waits. Uh, thank you, God. Amen. And if nothing else, you're going to leave here asking, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Yes. As I 